Guys, you're light as the cloud, light as the mm. feather. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna walk you to the match point for Echo Proud as he's taking on Evo's icon in the best out of three winners bracket final. Yeah, I mean, the winner of this will be moving on to the grand final. So we definitely gotta hype it up a little bit more, Dave. Echo Proud with match point. If they take this, they're that much closer to a nice little chunk of change for first place. Yes. I mean, uh, dude, just the fact that you're gonna go to grand finals if you win this, like, it feels so surreal, right? Because I feel like the journey is so easy, but it's all, it's, we all know it's not that easy at all. Oh, here we go. Speaking well, of journey, Jin tracks. Taking the dive in, but oh. wait a second, we go. We're gonna be restarting. Maybe it was a miss pause. Definitely gonna be a weird spot. JP in a very bad spot. Oh. Forced to use a flicker. Does get away though, so that is good. Zeta. Gonna get stunned up from Van Strong. Come back with the coils. Everyone disengages. We're still at 0 0. I hear saying Angela is this strong. I remember Angela used to be strong in Magic Chess. Isn't Magic Chess all over again? Here we go. Gonna be able to keep the distance, do some nice poking. Van Strong behind Suchujin, trying to get the heal, but now Suchujin in a lot of trouble. JP comes in, picks up the first blood, but Kurt Teasy goes down as well. Van Strong might just be next. Double kill for Kright. JP picking up a double kill onto Van Strong. That's 2 2 on the map. Outplayed with some nice range. JP goes back in, needs to be careful here, but will be able to get away. Dude, I don't even notice the details. Van Strong and Angela actually never runs out of mana. He was spamming skill one the whole time. Look, look, look watch this detail. Aww. So every time he like spams skill one, it feels like he's dropping mana, but then a second later it's back to full. Like, that just seems so em odd, but yet so emblem, awesome. Emblem go butter. Emblem go burger. Yeah, this is truly the em emblem diff, I think. Here we go. Looks like a little bit of trouble up by the turtle pit. Sucha Jin gonna pop the tortoise poo since oh. Zeta still able to pick up the turtle. But now the heart guard is on to Veldora. He drops the penalty zone. Yeah. Trying to look for the stun onto Zeta here. Will be able to land it. Zeta goes down. Kripe picking up the kill with that stolen feathered airstrike. Veldora now gonna try to move on to another target here. But JP and Curtizzi aren't gonna fall for it. Ooh. Interesting, very, very interesting. Very tanky. Veldora in the front line with the hard guard. Just now coming off on my Look, look at his mana. You see that? He throws. Look at the region. It literally speed. looks like it goes up. It looks like yeah. it goes up when he. When he I've pops never the seen regions be like this. Is this supposed to happen? Is this why? Because well, you have do, infinite mana and you just throw skills. With, yeah, it has to do with the movement. Um, hold on a second. Cry gonna go down to a feathered air strike. And since. Since Angela gets the speed up after using the, the first skill, it just pairs so well. It's similar to the Claude, how his passive makes him faster. And the more you move, the more mana you're going to get back. So essentially, yeah, you just have infinite mana. Outplay able to get the pick off on a Doma there. It's 4-3 currently at three and a half minutes. Gold at just about a standstill. Echo Proud only holds about a thousand. Wow. Well, you move and give you mana back on Angela? Well, I was not aware. With one of the I, I want to say it's the common. Yeah. Yeah. That, yo, that's why. Dude, I got to keep it above a thousand with you guys, okay? This took me by surprise. Mobile Legends, now new meta. Not only does it have different meta, it also have different kind of mechanics, okay? This is this is definitely interesting, the fact that you, you can have infinite mana. Doesn't mean you can run it on Alice. Well, obviously, you know, you know, it's Angela doesn't use that much money to begin with. Kyle does have all here, though, tracks. A little bit of trouble. Suchin in a bad spot. Will get the heart guard. Won't be able to get away, though. Outplay picking up the killing spree. Snipe shot into Outplay's face. But Doma not able to get the finish. Turtle still up. Zeta trying to make his move, create a little bit of space to keep her eyes on Veldor and Kray here coming to that side. There goes the penalty zone. Locked in along with the feathered airstrike. Zeta in a little bit of trouble. Veldor oh! takes the turtle and Zeta as well. It's a two for zero trade along with the turtle. Evo Psycon taking the lead. Trax, isn't that forced panic uh, red tree we're seeing tonight now? Like, people where you're, the enemy jungler is dead, you're the only jungler tree, and then you don't get it. Does he panic? Oh, here we go. Bottom side. Ooh, Kurt Teasy picked off from Doma, but Outplay goes down as Whoa. well. Evo's Icon. 
fighting in strong here. They're gonna take a tower, and this could put them at a very nice spot for the mid game. Oh, nice spot it is. Now Su Sujin is at, let's take a look at that, gold, 2,800 gold. Compared to Marta's 27, it's not too much difference, but marksman wise, 37, 41. Brody converted Beatrix, uh, respectively speaking, uh, respectively speaking. The biggest difference exists probably a, around the May. Valentina has 3,200 gold and the Farce is only hanging out at 25. His death has a two death and Kreid has Three, one, four. Three kills and only one death. So, hmm. The money's at where it needs to be. But so far, I still haven't seen Angela doing much except for the first hard guard towards the, you know, the blue side, blue, the echo side's blue jungle. Oh, here we go. Okay, nice divine judgment. Van Strong goes down to the decimation. Good play by Echo, able to try to balance things out. Not falling too far behind in gold here. Game still essentially at a standstill. Echo has lost a tower in the bot side, but they're still keeping the pressure up. Oh, look at Uranus. Doing a typical Uranus thing, right? Cutting a wave in the base, eating up two lanes. That's why nobody likes him. He's wondering why nobody likes him. There you go. So annoying. You see? He's eating up the farm. The strategy is interesting, right? Because I think it's only effective um, if you want to push some towers, or if you... I think most effective is when you try to push some towers, and you try to, like, just make sure the lane didn't, their enemy lane didn't leave their base. But some of the times, it's not working, right? It's not helpful to do it. And sure enough, you saw just now, except for the fact that, well, Dora got, in, you know, engaged and get himself killed. So, on that, Uranus can go back and do his Uranus things. Yeah, Nevo's Icon take another turtle here. Now it does, it creates it creates a lot of space staying in the base like that and cutting those lanes. It kind of helped Echo Proud get some of the map back, but still Evo's Icon able to still secure that objective. And they are now into their just full as a group rotating mode, a Ube strategy of their own. And now they're going for James. Can they get the finish? He tries to use the consecration, oh, but he still will go down. Sutrogen picking up the kill up in the top side. Echo Proud though, fighting back, looking for that tier two in the gold lane. Ooh, it almost become a base race, uh, but it turned out it didn't. But Beatrix still staying bottom lane, though. Look at Beatrix's position. He hang out, trying to get a tier two tower, no matter what. Meanwhile, the rest of that jungle is completely empty. We do have a call answer from Farsa. We're calling back and going to the bottom lane. An entire echo seems like they want to go with more of a flanking position. Let's check this out. Yeah, they're literally just like on the opposite sides, but here we go, oh, JP we go. finds a Divine Judgment. Heart Guard does come in, will be enough to save Doma. No, it won't. Zeta looking for another finish here. Maybe trying to lock on to Sutsujin. Did get the speed up, but does not have another destination to pop. James now in a bad spot. Will get taken out, Vanstrom picking up that kill. It's 9-8 on the map. Gold at a dead even right now. The game could still go either way. Definitely this, right? If you take a look at the item one more time, I'm pretty sure Brody. Brody's sitting at 3-1. He's doing okay. But Doma, even though 2 do 4 I think his gold is not that bad either. He just about the Kyber ultimate and then go in for the side of Evil Cyclone and for Echo Proud. Mm. Echo Proud is doing a lot of good things right now. Right? I feel like Kaja is engaging properly and then everybody's following up. They're doing damage in unison. The only problem I would say is Somehow, they're, I feel like they're lacking damage. I don't know why. They have Farsa and Brody. There should never be in the time when this guy's missing damage. Oh, here we go. Ooh, Cry with the IMU steals the Divine Judgment. Looking for JP. They find it. Doma takes him out. Now Zeta, though, it. wants to re-engage. Oh. Takes out Cry. Outplayed. Picks up the kill. James holding down the front side as well as Outplay continues to clear the wave. Echo Proud finding the trade one for one. Outplay is definitely shiny quite a bit. This is one of the marksmen that can actually carry the team on his back. Uh, Outplay is doing that, right? Like, usually marksmen don't, are not the center of the game, except for a few, except, with a few exceptions, such as Benny QT, but you got FMVP in M4. So this time it's gonna be a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of different. Oh, here we go, another low fight tracks. It seems like, oh, Boxia is not taking damage at all. With the Angela, is this a combo they're going with? 
this is the combo they're going with. And as you can see, it does work, right? Evo Psych kind of able to withstand Ooh. the damage that Echo Proud is outputting right now. And I think that's part of it. It's not exactly that Echo Proud doesn't have a lot of damage. It's that Evo Psychon also has a lot of sustain, but JP oh, finds it. Nice Divine Judge and Honest Ujin. Heart Guard Heart comes Garden. out. Can Ujin get away from this? Decimation Ooh. doesn't get the finish. Now Zeta in a bad spot. Doma picking it up. Kright also finding Zeta. It's two for zero trade. They finally found Veldora. James in the midst of four members along with Outplay looking for the finish. Kright goes Brody. down. Outplay slays him. James now becoming a force of nature here. Finally getting bulky enough to just stand in the middle of several members. Echo Proud were in a lost situation, but now taking back the map. Cool. Um, only still two seconds on Mardis, but James are taking a lot of damage, executing. He does have an anti-heal on him. That means his ultimate is not that effective. I feel like flooring would work better with Uranus, right? You make your heal. <laughs> Like, uh, like unreductible, right? I think that's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Another possible engage from Sujin here. Look, rolling around, trying to be a boss. Lord is already at 50 percent. Let's see the formation here. Oh, Five v five. Here, JP here we go. Able to find Sujin there and comes the penalty zone. Veldor on top of several members. James goes down first. Next is going to be JP Sujin with the heart guard, able to stay in it all. But Zeta finds him, but only for his own life. This Lord will go to the side of Evo's icon. And while this is happening, a huge wave is crashing down the bot. But it's not an enhanced Lord, right? It's not 12 minutes. So I wonder if Evo should have waited for like 30 seconds to do it. Actually, there's no time. Right now, I'm just trying to get back as much advantage as possible and then regain control. And they're doing exactly just that. They're back to 2,000, go over to them and go lead, and now pushing out to the high ground. I mean, look at Van Strong, 2, 2, and 12. We were worried about the possibility of them not having that much CC, but right now they don't need to be, need it because they have the sustainability and they're able to last while Doma unloads damage on the backside. And even Van Strong and Veldora outputting a decent amount of damage. And though it's not really burst damage from everybody, it is just a slow whittle onto the team of Echo Proud. Ooh. Echo, can he do it? Can Kaja find the crucial engage into Valentina or Beatrix? Here we go. The, oh, here come the camera pot play. Now a lot of damage on Doma. One. Doma goes down first. James in the backside, able to find it. Cry trying to flicker in. Can't find the Who finish. Outplay gets the outplay. That's two members down, all for the price of Curtizi. It's a good trade for Echo Proud. They're going to move on to this Lord, clear it up, and try to reclaim this map. Nice. And beautifully executed defensive for Farsar getting killed. But when you see the mass, you know something bad is about to happen. And now Echo is going to fight back. I've seen this many, many times again. Uh, when you try to push the Lord without the proper setup, preparation, the results are devastating. And here we go. They're, they just they just want to have some lead, and now it's all gone, right? With the tower gone, one more shot. Yeah, it's all gone. Now, look at the gold. Echo Prowl is back in the lead. It was 300, 200 gold ahead. It's not that much. I mean, James is there at this point, right? Like, James is so bulky right now. Um, he, he t in the very beginning, he was out of a little bit of trouble, but at this point, he can really just hang out between three, four, five members. JP in a little bit of trouble, though, taking a lot of damage. Immortality pops. Don't think there's a way to escape that one. That's going to give Evo Psycon a little bit of an advantage here as the Lord comes up in 45 seconds. Ooh. I want to see the items right now. Hmm. I want to see what Beatrix has and see if it's enough to take out J uh, Jamie, James. But James right now is not that tanky against Beatrix anymore. Oh, here we go. Mid tower is hanging on a little bit of HP. Yeah. Zeta, maybe a little bit too deep. The Nubir's Passion chips him down. Evo Saikon trying to push the envelope here. Keep as much pressure. Keep Echo Proud inside of their base as long as they can. Make sure they have a little bit of a wave advantage here when this Lord comes up. Ooh, look at Sujin invading. Like he's basically giving. Oh, this is so evil playstyle, right? Like every single game when they played, they have been invading the, the jungle uh, of the opposition. And now they're doing it again, all thanks to Boxia. And Boxia is strong in the game, but it's that strong for the invade. I mean, you gotta not miss skill to at all in order for that to work. 
Here we go. A little yeah, fight. And like this siege will point. go in favor. Sadis oh. going for it. Looking for oh. it. Not able to get it though. Suchajin still keeps it. And now Echo Proud in a bad spot. They lose James and they're forced to back off. Evo's icon gonna have a nice advantage with James gone for 30 seconds here. Evo's icon decided it's not time for us to get off work. It's time for us to have actual work. I like that spirit. You know, always fighting for actual work for the casters. Love it. And now there's gonna be a huge wave coming in. And uh, with the proper wave management, which is exactly what Evo's icon are doing, uh, that much basics. And now they're gonna shove into the base, bring the base of Echo Proud. Whew, this is gonna be really rough. Echo Proud, most definitely gonna do forward, it. coming onto the mid side. Will get the crash here and take it down quickly. Evo Psycon moving down to the bottom inhibitor, looking for the finish, trying to take as much as they can away from Echo Proud and wait for the possible mistake. Just patrolling the walls, not pushing in too deep not wanting to give themselves over and not wanting to give themselves up they are able to take the one inhibitor i was hoping or i was thinking that maybe they could get two out of this more waves still coming though Sutajin, veldora watch out for the penalty zone it could be coming soon a oh. nice feathered air strike from cry doing oh. a lot of damage and there's a penalty zone zeta taking a lot of damage Lada. veldora gets the finish no doma picks up the kill and that's going to be inhibitor in a nice trade for the side of evo psycon Cool. Solid defense here. Losing one high ground tower at a time. Um, 3,000 gold differential, 60 minutes, 16 minutes in. That's not even qualify for a gold difference, right? Like that's like 200 gold per minute. Oh, here we go, Foxia. They're forcing their way in. Twizla. Yeah, Beldor comes in. Nice, big hit. Another tower goes down. James gonna get shot down from Krite though. Heart Guard does come up on a Sushijin. I think they want to try to end this here. They have the bulkiness, they have the tankiness, they have the damage. Sushijin into the backside. Oh. Can they lock onto the base? JP goes down next. Zyda back on the map as well, but more waves are crashing in. Right around the backside, able to find out play. Minions just need to get a little bit closer. They lock onto the base at 20% of the base. Woo. They go down, they can't get the finish, but there it is, Evo Zycon. Tie it up, 1-1. One, one.